Hi, this is Danger Man, the Urban Superhero, and this is another Danger Man moment. There was a terrible, terrible tragedy in Manchester, Connecticut today. Omar Thornton came to work, was in a meeting with several of his employers, his um, management staff, and was questioned and uh, forced to resign over allegations that he stole alcohol on his route as he was driving for a beverage company. Mr. Thornton then was escorted out of the building, well, on his way out of the building, he wanted to stop and get a drink of water in the lunchroom. And while he did that, it's not quite sure exactly how that happened, but he grabbed his lunchbox, and in his lunchbox was not his lunch, but two 9mm handguns. Mr. Thornton pulled out the handguns and shot and killed the two escorts. And then he went on a rampage through his workplace and ended up killing eight total co-workers and wounded about three other people. One co-worker, they reported that he chased this person through the building and out into the parking lot. Allegedly, Mr. Thornton had had some uh, problems with the race discrimination at his job and uh, some racial uh, problems. But that doesn't excuse the fact that you, you still don't come to work and kill your co-workers, okay? So anyway, uh, you know, that's tough. Uh, my prayers go out to the family and friends of, of all those people who didn't know they were going to be coming home again. Came to work, do a job, and now they're, they won't be coming back. So, um, the NRA would tell you that every American has a right to own, own a gun, the Second Amendment. If that's so, does every American have the right to get shot by someone who owns a gun? People are getting shot in their workplaces, they're getting shot in their churches, they're getting shot in, the, in front of their homes. Just uh, a few days ago in Chicago, boy... A young boy was shot 22 times in the street. Shot 22 times in the street and, and, and right in front of his house. A young 13-year-old uh, boy. Okay. Handguns in this country are an epidemic. Handgun violence. We need to figure out an answer to this problem because it's, it's crazy. It makes no sense. I'm sure that when the forefathers wrote the Second Amendment, this, they didn't think... You know, that wasn't, didn't come into their mind that people would be, there would be so much carnage. You guys be safe out there, okay? Watch your back. Watch where you're at. Watch what's going on around you, okay? All right. You know, if you're at your workplace, you know, you hear something going on. A lot of people wear those earplugs, you know, they listen to that music all the time. And they block things out. You can even hear somebody was shooting until they're upon, up, upon you, okay? But be careful. Watch your back. Watch your family safety. You know, make sure your doors are locked at home. You know, um, I used to advise people in the workplace, employers, on, on how to terminate somebody or discipline an, an employee. There's ways to do that and do it safely. All right? But apparently... This gentleman came to work that morning. He didn't have, you know, a ham sandwich or a peanut butter sandwich in his lunchbox and some potato chips and a 7-Up. No. He had two loaded 9mm handguns. He came there to kill somebody that day. All right. And then he took his own life. This is Danger Man, the urban superhero. There's been another Danger Man moment. Thank you.